Hi, I'm Hassan, the lecturer here at the Institute of Medical Education. And today we're going to take a look at solutions to section three of ACES GAMSAT Green Booklet, Practice Test 1, specifically Unit 24, questions 75 to 76. And in this unit, we're told that a charged body is suspended in a hollow, uncharged conductor by a thread, um, and charges are induced on the inner and outer surfaces of the conductor. So since charges are induced on the inner and outer surfaces, I mean, the principle of electric fields, it must be considered. So an electric field, uh, if you recall, is a physical field that surrounds electrically charged particles and it exerts force on all other charged particles in the field, either attracting or repelling them. So take note in this unit, like charges repel each other, and obviously um, unlike charges repel each other, uh, sorry, like charges repel each other, unlike charges come together. So from the smallest to the largest cylinder. So let's try drawing these charges. So if we just start, let's just draw the thread with the negative charge in the middle. So we're told there's just a, a negative uh, charge body. So they've put it here as negative Q. So if we think about it logically, it says charges are induced. So the negative charge is going to draw positive charge towards it, and it's going to repel negative charge away from it. So that means if we're going to draw positive charges, the inner surface of the first, uh, I think they call it cylinder or box, is going to be positive. So if that's going to be positive, then the outside, because we've pushed, the, we've repelled the negative away, has to be negative. So it's the same principle for all the other cylinders in this system. So if we've got negative charge here, we're going to push the negative charge away and we're going to draw the positive inside. So this cylinder is going to have positive charges inside and negative charges outside. So again, same principle for the third cylinder. We're going to draw in the positive charge and we're going to obviously repel the negative charge. And for the last cylinder, you betcha, same thing. So we're going to draw in the positive charge. And we're going to obviously repel the negative charge. So question 75 and 76 are pretty straightforward because they're just asking you for what the induced charge is on the outer surface of um, the smaller cylinder and the biggest cylinder. So you know that the answer is going to be the same for both because the induced charge on the outer surface of the smaller cylinder, so this one here, is the same as the induced charge on the outer cylinder. So they're both going to be negative. So if we take a look at the options, say, for 75, 75 um, says the induced charge on the outer surface of a smaller cylinder is, well, we know it has to be equal to the negative charge here. So it's got to be D. So the answer is equal to negative charge. So the same principle for question 75, or sorry, question 76, the induced charge on the outer surface of the larger cylinder, again, it's going to be negative. It's going to be a negative charge, and it has to be equal to negative charge. So the answer, again, is D. So if you're, if you're still having trouble conceptualizing uh, the ideas in this unit, you can post your comments or your queries in the comment section below, or you can contact us directly. We'd love to help you. Thanks for your time. Bye now.